Hi, I'm Mike Lee, author of Our Lost Constitution. I just came from a very crowded House of Representatives where President Donald Trump, the 45th President of the United States, gave his first State of the Union address. This is a long-standing tradition with uh, constitutional origin. Uh, the origins of this go back to Article 2, Section 3 of the Constitution, which contemplate that from time to time the President will address a joint session of Congress, uh, will present uh, a, a report regarding the state of our Union to Congress. It's always interesting to see this happen. I've uh, been in the United States Senate now a little over six years. This is the seventh State of the Union address uh, I've been through as a U.S. Senator, and it's always been interesting. One of my favorite moments uh, of this State of the Union had to be the moment when President Trump said that uh, uh, Obamacare had been a disaster. In fact, he, he, he said, we've got to find a way out of this nightmare, this unmitigated disaster that is Obamacare. I could have sworn he gestured uh, directly toward the Supreme Court, which I thought was interesting because, as I explained in our last Constitution, it was the Supreme Court, in an opinion authored by Chief Justice John Roberts, which I, I discuss in the book, uh, that rewrote Obamacare, not just once, but twice, in order to save it from otherwise fatal constitutional defects. The Supreme Court, of course, has no authority to do that, had no business rewriting Obamacare, not just once, but twice, uh, in order to save it, but it did so anyway. I don't want to put words in the president's mouth or intentions inside of his head. To me, it looked like he might have been gesturing toward the Supreme Court justices, including Chief Justice Roberts, who were there tonight. I do want to comment on something else. Um, normally, the State of the Union address is an opportunity for some degree of bipartisanship. In the past, uh, in every State of the Union that I've been to so far as a U.S. Senator, uh, I have been listening to a president address us from the other party. Up until tonight, it's always been President Obama who has addressed us. Needless to say, I don't agree with everything President Obama had to say in his State of the Union addresses. And yet, I was always polite. I always stood when he entered the room. I always clapped uh, when he was introduced as the President of the United States. Sometimes I would even clap in response to something he said uh, with regard to a policy. That was n not necessarily as common. Uh, because President Obama and I disagreed on a lot of things. But I showed respect, and my Republican colleagues generally did too. I have to say I was a little disappointed tonight in some of uh, the Democrats in Congress. Now, I'm not going to name names. That's not my point in doing this tonight. But what I am going to say is this. There were a number of people there tonight, members of Congress, who behaved, quite frank frankly, like petulant children. Uh, uh, petulant children... Uh, who refused to applaud when President Trump was introduced as the President of the United States. I have never seen that. I have never seen a president openly hissed. Yes, there were members of Congress hissing, openly hissing at the president. Now, look, I understand people have differences of opinion. I, I myself have had difference of, differences of opinion with Donald Trump, uh, uh, both before he was president and since he's been president. I've never hissed the President of the United States during a State of the Union address. And I certainly have never stood and refused to clap, even while everyone else was welcoming him after he's been introduced as the President of the United States. So tonight I saw hissing, I saw laughing, they laughed at him, not with him. They openly laughed in segments of his speech uh, that were intended to be serious, that were not intended as jokes, and they openly mocked him by laughing. They hissed uh, and a number of them left abruptly uh, before he had a chance to exit the room, which is also uncommon. So look, I understand people are unhappy, but I think they ought to show respect to the President of the United States as the President of the United States. That's my two cents worth. In any event, it was a great evening, and uh, this is a tradition that I enjoy very much. And uh, so hats off to... Article 2, Section 3 of the Constitution, which brought us this great event tonight. Thank you very much.